Hello and welcome to Let's Check Out. Let's compare Gran Turismo 5. Now, some of you may have clicked this video first. And to those of you I say, this is one of two videos I released at the same time. One of which is this one, the other one is. Uh, Motorstorm Pacific Rift because I really don't know what game to play for you. What do you like better? I want to know and I hope you can tell me. Um, if you watch the other one first, I didn't know that this was the plan from the beginning. I just kind of figured it out as I was going. And now I'd like to know your opinion. Please watch both videos. They're both going to be about... 25 to 30 minutes long. I don't know how long this will be, of course, because I just started it. And I'm just gonna go into it and kind of talk about the game. And you can decide which one I'll do for a let's play. Probably like around 20, 25, 30 episodes, something like that. Like I did with Grid. So let's just go into the A spec event because that's actually driving. Okay, I'm gonna need to purchase a car. This is a simulator, okay? So... This is gonna simulate things. Can I look at what kind of car I need to buy? Um... Let's go to the used car dealership and buy just a cheap car. <laughs> um, yeah, shut up. Um, <laughs> I got twenty thousand barcaroonies, so I have pretty much choice between this Nissan and this Mazda. Yeah, uh, maybe in the court, Honda Court. Got 55,000 kilometers on it. Yeah, I, I think I'm going with the Nissan. Let's check this vehicle out. Oh, yeah, that's a good vehicle to start, isn't it? Yes, I want to buy this car. Oh man, this, this game, it has like the whole range of cars. <laughs> Look how they present it, too. <laughs> like it's some kind of. <laughs> Great car. I can upgrade cars, I believe. Um, I'm going to talk more about what this game means to me and how I stand, how my relation is to it while I'm driving. <laughs> right now, I just want to. Yeah, I know. I can do licenses. I really enjoy doing license things, but <laughs> I want to go into a, a real race right now. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Beginner series, of course. You know, this is a simulation. Three races? Okay. Look, I don't care. I may care some other day. Loading times are quite exquisite. If I may express myself with these words. Okay, no, it's actually not too bad. So let's start. Now, this game, Gran Turismo 5. I've explained in the Pacif uh, in the Motorstorm video that Motorstorm is the first game I ever owned for the PlayStation. Of course, the one that I'm considering let's playing is the second installation of the franchise, but never mind that. Now, I also have a special relationship with Gran Turismo because as far as I know, it was also a launch demo. That I downloaded on the first day of getting PlayStation. Oh, I got like the driving line on. Can I change views, please? <sighs> oh, I forget this is a simulator. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh.
Oh, it has different controls than I'm used to. No oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. I probably already lost this game. I don't think it has rubber banding or a lot of it. Um, this game, it had kind of a weird story. The demo was out, if not on launch day of the PlayStation 3, pretty soon after. And everybody and their sister was looking forward to it. And it just didn't come out. They postponed it and postponed it and... I never really got why. I guess they weren't happy with development or... They had stupid developers. I don't know. But... You know, we played a lot of the demo. Whenever we were bored, we, we played some Grand Turismo 5 demo. In the stores, there was not a much. I remember on a launch event of the PlayStation, I went to a store and they had set up like a little couch area and let in two and two people at a time to play Mortal Storm and also this demo. And I really enjoyed it. And we waited, I don't know if it was one or two or even three years to, for the game to come out. The full release. And then it came out and I played it a lot I played A spec, I played B spec in B spec I, I think it's kind of unique to Gran Turismo you play like the race instructor and you can go like okay now go faster and now be aggressive and okay try to try to overtake these guys and you're not actually driving you're just giving instructions which is kind of a cool like uh, break from normal racing like this but it's, it, it it really isn't fun in the long haul for me but yeah I always enjoy doing the licenses in this games that will be a part of a let's play if I actually do it and maybe highlight some differences to Mortal Storm if you watch this video Oh, that's already finished. I didn't even check out that. Okay. I don't know how well I would have done with the... Um, if I knew the controls from the beginning. You, you, draw, you, you uh, accelerate with X and usually it's L R2 and I was so confused. But never mind that. Yeah, this is... So this is a simulator, so... You know, it feels slower. It probably isn't. I never really figured out. Because I don't drive in real life. I don't have a license. So I don't know how realistic it is. But I guess it is quite realistic. It doesn't have damage model, which is really weird. For a game that came out in... Let me check the box. Mm, it came out in... Uh, doesn't say. Oh well. Never mind. That is kind of weird, but you know you're gonna live with it. But this is more like focused, precise driving, where motor storms more like just press down that acceleration button and maybe use your handbrakes to get around some corners. But here. You can see it. This is realistic. This is. It's also based on fun, of course. Every game is. At least every game that is worth playing is based on having fun, but. This is also based on. Getting the. Car just right. Getting the track. Getting the driving just perfect. You know, you see there, oh, just a little too fast, and I can't, I can almost not catch my car. 
Which is very unfortunate for a driver like me. But I, I kind of like it too, you know. It, if you play other games and then you switch to this game, that's maybe the best way I can describe it. It feels very like the inertia of the car is like increased just by a factor of probably infinity. You usually don't feel inertia as a as a thing on a car on a, in a racing game. But here it really is. You know, if you turn, it just doesn't just follow the wheels. It, it, it feels like it has a mass and it wants to go straight, but you try your best and turn it around. You know how the laws of physics actually work. Now, that being said, I don't know how all these cars handle in real life. But, and I'm not a car guy, so... Um, ac any accuracy is lost on me. I don't know which ones have rear wheel, rear wheel drive or front wheel drive or four wheel drive or I don't know what what is it in right now. <laughs> um, so if you're looking like for a well, he knows about cars aspect of the game. Uh, well, you can just as well vote for. Um, motor storm because this is, is, is not gonna be any more accurate in my knowledge of of cars <laughs> this has real cars motor storm has made up cars this is harder to get right it may not be harder to win but it's harder to get right that's for sure um it seems like it's harder to win as well because of that thing. But Oh man, no no no, don't overtake me. Oh Another one. Oh these cars are all faster than me. Oh I bumped my microphone there, I think. I'm really sorry about that. Six I need a better car. It's pretty apparent. I mean, I got some credits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, let me actually go into the license challenges, like I call them. You may be like really angry if you're a car enthusiast and a, a Gran Turismo expert. Um. Actually, yeah, I want to do that later, maybe. You can always do that. It's kind of a modular game. If that says anything to you, you know. You can do things in chunks. and You can go there and there and there and there and there. And you can go to the tuning shop and photo travel and... Practice and, and you know. Just, it's, it's a big game. But let's actually check out licenses, because... That's usually where I spend a lot of time. I don't know why. And we got the Top Gear test track. Um, the people of you that watch Top Gear UK will be very familiar with this. This is the airfield where they sometimes drive on and have their time thingy. I'm not a big Top Gear enthusiast. I like the show whenever I see it. I watch it. But I'm not gonna, like, taunt it or... Go or, or, or um, rec um, memorize the time that it's on. So, you know. So, this is the first challenge you basically get on every uh, Gran Turismo race. You, you're gonna accelerate and then you brake. And based on how long it takes for you to brake in the designated zone. Oh crap, I missed again. <laughs> um, that determines your score. Oh man. This qual 
What now? Let's try this again. This is this is kind of how you do the licenses, you know. You you try it and then you fail. And then you try again and you do a little bit better until you get the hang of it. You know, you, you, you get the feel of the car. This has been a bit too long. But I guess I'm gonna get bronze. Oh, silver even. Very good. Okay, I got the silver. I mean, that's like these guys who get gold on everything. And they're all... <laughs> but I'm not one of these guys. Um, Next license. That's, that's the game we want to play. You know, I'm gonna get through some licenses here. Because that's what I'll do in the Let's Plays as well. Steering. Steering. B2 Steering. I got to drive a turn. You know, here you go and get the turning just right until you g hit gold. And it really helps you during gameplay. I'm like like an Italian guy. I'm, I'm using my hands to speak a lot right now and this is not really doing anything because I'm not doing a camera. Oh, an Alfa Romeo. I actually quite like these cars. So here we go. Uh, that wasn't good. When your tires squeak, it's not good. You know, I'm playing with a controller, not with a driving wheel, which would be beneficial to the game. Look at that. I suck. Not even bronze. I gotta do this again. Man, oh man. This is not going too well for me, is it? Y'all gonna root for more storm. <laughs> but you know that that will be okay because I want your opinion here. Okay, way too far. Way too far. Okay, I actually didn't do too bad. A silver even. Wow. Only like one 50 uh wait 150 thousand of a second of a second that's pretty good if you ask me now that's what the challenges are oh no, the licenses are and and you need to complete I need I will need to complete these in order to go to like more fancy races and what I'm planning here is do the last race of the Sunday challenge I did. The next one will have been in and out. Most basic cornering line. You know, so you really get to know driving. Mm, yeah, yeah, shut up. One more. Uh, actually, I should show you B-Spec as well here. Because it's going to be part of the game as well. Okay, don't want to do that. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not gonna show you in that case. Uh, it, it wouldn't be a big part of the let's play. But it would be a part of it. Sometimes when I feel like it. And basically it's just... You, you got this control surface like a, a little board that you control your driver on. And say go and take it easy now and do this and... All these doohickeys, you know. It's not really a great part of the game that I like to spend a lot of time on, but every once in a while, every once in a while, we want to go there. So, one more race until the end of the video. The loading times are a bit annoying. They are worse if you if you know games like Mod Nation Racers. You don't want to go there. And also, I, I'm gonna need to upgrade this car or buy a new one. Because this sucks. See, they're, they're taking. Uh oh. Well, that was certainly my fault. 
and now I'm driving all behind them again. So this this is kind of what you can get used to. Uh, if you pick this game. Maybe not like as bad driving because I may get used to it. It's kind of less action than motorsport but more um, skill based. Uh, I don't want to see. Because motorsport is a hard game as well but this is just more it's more realistic let's say it you know if you want realism pick this game if you want more action more I'm gonna call it dumb fun like stupid fun that is actually not stupid but it's more mindless you know you don't have to think about apexes and stuff go with motor storm Okay, so that's pretty much all I gotta say on the topic of my um, voting competition, I guess I call it. I'm leaning towards no particular game, you know? So, if you wanna like hear my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> you can wait a long time. I know Motorstorm will be easier for me. And I may be a bit more relaxed within Motorstorm because it just doesn't require as much concentration. Still needs a lot of concentration, but not as much. But here I will be more challenged. So it really depends on what aspect you're looking for in a Let's Play. Uh, I really appreciate feedback. Uh, you can do it with likes, but comments would help me more. I can't fend off both of them, can I? Oh wow! Um, oh, oh, I, oh, I wanted too much and lost it all. Crap! <laughs> Okay, so this is it for uh, let's show you guys Gran Turismo. Uh, please go watch the other video if you haven't yet. Please give a comment to what you'd like to see. And I hope that I get enough feedback that I can start the series in two days. If not, it'll be here in four days. Okay, so thanks for watching. Give your vote down in the section and goodbye.